Okay, today I'm going to show you how to change a voltage regulator. I'm working on a Briggs 24 horse. It's on my old Skag here. Battery's not holding a charge. Run it a couple days, six or eight hours worth of work, battery's dead again. And it has a brand new battery in it. This is likely the culprit. Hopefully this will fix it. So first thing we need to do is take off this uh, top cover to get at uh, get at the connector there, the wires, and we'll be right back. Okay, so loosen all these. These hold that cover down. This thing is filthy. So my apologies. There are six total of those. Then don't forget off the plastic cover and there's two screws in there so once you remove all that the cover will lift up you can see down in there your connectors are same as that just plug and play at this point so I'll be back with the next step Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, when you take the bolt out here, on the underneath, leave it in, just loosen it. Otherwise, it's just tight. Drop it, lose it, I have a hard time getting it on. You see how these are set up here? You can just slide it off. We have our connectors off, ready to put the new one on. And those are 3 8 These here are 3 8 as well as the covers. And then for that top top piece, they are 5 16 I believe. Okay, let's see if I can one hand this here. Let's set my camera up. Maybe. Okay, so we had the old one removed. This just snaps in there. Hopefully, I had it the right way. That snaps in there. Push the wires back in. Screw, buddy. I got my helper out here today. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to bore you with all the small details. Just tuck those wires in there so they aren't getting crimped anywhere. Tighten everything back up. Put it back together. And more than likely, that's our culprit. I picked this up on eBay for 10 or 11 bucks, free shipping. It was here in two days. So you can't beat it. We'll see if it works. A fresh charge on the battery, and we'll see if it holds it. All right, thanks for watching.